the level, the prototype level. I just show you. Um, I did all nanite, so it's uh, here. So this is very important. Uh, it's all nanite, as you can see, um, and every time I make a level, I do always this check on each mesh I use. Mm, I want to start uh, showing you how I make the level. Uh, basically, is uh, mm, creating this uh, this this part here with the geometric blocks, just cubes, to make the first shape and then uh, step by step I add these meshes. Uh, I don't use a lot of meshes, uh, for example uh, this part here, this uh, slide here, um, is made only with one mesh, this one, uh, which, is, uh, which is this mesh here, this, this mesh here. So I did all this part using this mesh. These are all the same mesh. I used um, one one another, changing the scale, changing uh, the um, the rotation and position. But is always one mesh, which is very good when uh, you play the game because uh, the engine has to load only one mesh and one texture. The same thing I did here. So you can see uh, using just uh, the same mesh here, the um, the big rock. And then I'm using one wall here on the left, one on the right, uh, right and left, then just uh, uh, two stones here, two type of stones. I use the spline uh, river water here. You can, uh, you can change as you want, you see more calm if you pull it up like this and uh, is more rough if you go down and it has the contact with the um, with the objects then i put a few uh, trees here uh, one and two here and then the same mesh again the this big rock and i change the um, the position and the the rotation and then this uh, waterfall here which is also a mesh you can uh, you can change. So um, I, I just play, show you. This is the new menu, and uh, there is the music. Um, I switch off. I don't have the the sound now because it's recording my voice, so I don't, I don't put the sound in my ear now. And uh, I stop here. The I cancel the the hood things. I want to show you one thing about the first person so you see here i'm in front of the barrel and i want to play with the focusing part so you see th this is very good when you make a video when you want to record the video because many videos they play a lot with this focusing and, and focusing thing and uh, it's very cool so you you see in, now i'm focusing on the barrel but if if i mm, if I increase the aperture of the camera, you see here on the bottom right, I can really make also the background sharp. If I decrease, I uh, make it uh, blurry. And uh, this also happens when you when you have the, the crossbow here. For example, you when you press the right mouse button, it's all focus because the the aperture is very is about ten something like that, or at least I, I don't think even there is a, a an effect. And uh, once you leave the right mouse button, you see you can play again with the, the camera effect here like this. And the same thing is on the the player. So here I added a new key, the, the mouse wheel, and with the mouse wheel you can zoom on the face like this, and you can also apply this effect here, and then you can um, make it focus. This is also good when you when you make these kind of videos, and if you crouch here like this, um, one thing is. I show you. Let 
now I'm uh, in this view here uh, if I go up with the mouse you see also the the body goes up and the the crossbow goes up if I press the the um, also crouched goes up and down and it moves if I go in first person it doesn't happen because the camera is uh, is not only on uh, horizontal moves because of course the, the body moves so uh, when you turn but if I go up and down it doesn't move because you can look around but if I press the right mouse button also the um, the crossbow moves so you can really place the for example the crossbow up like this and you can look or down like this and you can look and you can move and you can look like this and then you move or up like this and you can walk like this so this gives you a lot of combination it's just using the right, ma right mouse button um, pressing I'm pressing now so uh, now I'm pressing then I leave it in a position and I start walking and I, if I run automatically you see, if I run, the crossbow disappears. This because uh, uh, I want to leave the the character free of uh, making this movement. Because when you make this movement and you have the crossbow, it disappears. So um, you see also here like this. I want to show you this. This is a nice, nice move. Um, so just to clear the the camera and the, this part of the camera. Um, another thing is uh, um, the shooting. There is the, as you see here on the left, there is the F key to trace the the lights. So this is done with a tick because the dimension of the cone is based on the distance. So um, when I get close, the dimension gets also smaller. When I go far, it increases. And this is cool because you can also shoot in the air, you see. And you see really the, the arrow that goes up and then fall, will fall down. You see, and then it falls down. It's really like a, a real arrow takes a while because of course it's, uh, it's uh, realistic but it's really how it should uh, behave now um, another thing it's uh, let me go here for example it's uh, how you can shoot like this and you still are have precise shooting if you see with the, this, uh, for example, if you see, still precise from far away. So this is really cool also. And another thing is when you shoot, as you know, at the barrels, you have this physics, uh, uh, physics uh, reaction. Mm, about physics reaction, I want to show you uh, how you can adapt this to other uh, uh, objects, for example, other static meshes. For example, I get this barrel here. I want to apply this to, to um, for example, this to this. So I just get one barrel. I go here in the details and I change the mesh. So now you see this uh, um, piece of wood has the same uh, physics of the barrel, which are these these on the on the side here, and you can um, see how it uh, reacts. You see, it's moving. And if you want to um, make it more realistic, for example, you set 130, for example, and you will see that now it behaves a bit more realistic. It's more heavy, let's say.
and also if you walk you will uh, you will push it so okay so um, another thing here it's uh, um, let's go here so how I created this uh, I've already explained it I put some grass I um, put here the river and you see um, I mean it's it's really it, there is the waterfall here and uh, the effect in, in first person it's uh, quite good and uh, when you press the uh, B button for the change of the weather you see the effect now it's cloudy this is the um, ultra dynamic sky blueprint now it's cloudy and uh, I want to show you this um, look at the the clothing and now it's raining so I applied the, the raining effect also to the clothing so cloudy it's dry here raining you can see also from here so now it's dry this is a medieval clothing now it's wet <coughs> Again, here you can play with the camera effect, so now it's very blurry and now it's very sharp. And uh, uh, if I if I use the the, uh, the crossbow here, you can see, for example, now it's blurry here. The crossbow will always be sharp because it's really close to the player and uh, now it's uh, more sharp so you can really do some nice effects when you aim like this is always sharp uh, otherwise you cannot uh, see the targets and uh, um, when you when you leave the, the right mouse button it goes again in this mode here and you can use also front key, front uh, camera here, and you can use this effect. The blueprint of the player is this. Let me see this one. So actually you see the cameras, you see this is the head camera, this is the front camera, and this is the third person camera. Here there is the bow camera this one because the bow is uh, a blueprint this one this one is the bow which is uh, uh, sorry it's uh, this one this one is the the blueprint so the bow basically is um, there are two crossbow one unloaded and one loaded and then there is the the arrow over and uh, um, what else this is the medieval clothing this here and there are uh, there are some colors here different colors you see here Actually, I think there is also, I got this from the marketplace, yes, but there are different colors here. You can play, you can play with green, brown and, and white. So, and, uh, and this is the metahuman. The metahuman, uh, you, you have this uh, uh, metahuman here. And this, if you open the bridge uh, um, window, you you see I created this. You go in edit, and basically is this. Ah, okay, I got to load again, so it's this here. You load the meta human. Okay, so we are in the meta human. For example, I want to um, edit. I click here, and. Uh, I want to change, for example, the, the hair. For 
for example I want this so you see you you have this air here so you can change anything you want you want to change the, the beard the mustache the beard so no beard uh, you want uh, this beard here or whatever you change these you um, you um, you change these you let me see okay you change these you save it and then you export it so now I close it yes and you export and you